I'm James. And I'm Emily. We show you our actual weight loss journey with the keto lifestyle. Make sure you like and subscribe and check us out on other platforms like Instagram and Facebook. Get ready. Set keto. And happy Saturday. It is happy Saturday. It's way in Saturday. For us. It is the first of the month, which means we not only did we get weighed. We did measurements. Definitely did measurements. Yay. So, all right. Results. Results. All right. So, so today, for me, do you want to start first? You want me to? Nope. Go. All right. I mm -hmm. am down one pound from last week. I am 220. I almost said 276. Right. I am 227.6. And, which puts me down a pound, puts me down a total of 87 pounds. Mm -hmm. And how much for the month? For the month, I have lost 3.4 pounds for the month. For the month. Now, on to measurements. All right. So, my waist, I started last month. I was at 43 and a half inches around the belly button. I'm now 42, so I lost an inch and a half. Yay. My hips, I lost a half an inch. I went down to 37. That's one he said, I ain't going to lose any more on my hips. My thigh is the same, 20 and a half. My chest, I lost a half inch in my chest, just me at 46.5. My right calf, I lost a half inch in my calf. And my arm stayed the same at 13 and a half inches. Yep. And my right calf was 14 and a half inches. All right. That's it for you. That's it for me. Okay. For me, I am down half a pound this week, uh, 168.8. So I'll take it. She and lost four pounds for the month. Yes, of four, June. four pounds for the month of June, which she beat me. I did beat him, but it's not a race. <laughs> not a race. Um, as far as my measurements go, um, as far as my waist, I am down two inches. I went from a 38 to a 36. My hips down one inch, 42 to a 41. My thigh, a half an inch. 21 down to 20.5 my chest i am the same i am doing right here above my bosom my right calf exactly the same 15 inches it has been the same three months going strong <laughs> and my right arm 12 inches same as last month total of three and a half inches yes she beat me in inches too i only lost three inches I think Derek beat us both. I think Derek did beat us both. All right, so Derek is down nothing today. From last week. Nothing from last week. He is still 323 pounds. Yes. But he is down six pounds for the month. He is. He lost an inch in his waist, belly button, which puts him at 55 inches. Mm -hmm. He lost an inch in his hips, puts him at 51 inches. He lost two inches in the thigh, puts him at 21 inches. He lost one inch around the chest for 49. He is now 49 inches. His right calf stayed the same, 18 inches. And his arm lost... And his arm lost a half inch at 13 and a half inches. Yes, with a total of five and a half inches total lost and six pounds total lost for the month of June. So, yeah, that is our results for June. Yes, and for July, we have decided we're going to stick with what we know best, which is keto. But what James doesn't know is we are going to do more outdoor activities and get our body moving more than what we are. She wants to so, take me on walks. Yes. Long walks. See the outdoors and the beautiful nature. I don't know about long. It's happening. All right. So after when this video ends, we're going to go into, you're going to see what we ate on Sunday. And then Monday, we actually uploaded her zucchini. Yes. Uh, pasta video. So we didn't do anything on Monday, but then there's Tuesday and then there's Wednesday, which was Wednesday was not the best day. No, Wednesday was not the best day. But Wednesday was not the best day. Um, I've been having some nerve problems and I went and I had to go. You'll see this and we did update a little video on Wednesday. 
Yes. I think I had the... Uh, the vid. Yeah, the C, the big C. Yeah. Which caused some elevation and some test results, like blood clot test results. Things like that. You know, I've been sick. This is going on three weeks, but I do feel better now. I don't know to be scared or not mm -hmm. because I feel better. He is going on a follow-up appointment, though, come Wednesday with his PCP. And thank you to everyone who's reached out and sent their prayers and their love. And I also went to a chiropractor, and a lot of in the, my CT scan, they also said that I have really, really bad curvature of the spine, and which could be, which is definitely from being years and years of overweight, and now I'm losing weight, and now I still got the the fat guy spine <laughs> that's not correct, and and like even as we sit here right now, it feels like someone's got their hands on my back, like a nerve, like right but, on my shoulder blades. But. So. We are hopeful that the worst is over. Yes. Because this has been, this is like the fourth day of really no pain. And I was having like, you know, I was having pain when I, when I moved. In his chest and back. Certain things. And, you know, all along I thought that it was a spine. I thought it was nerve and spine. But nobody wanted to mess with me until I had scans. Yes. So, yeah, that would be a big bill coming. <laughs> Yay. But, yes, anyone concerned that knows I have been having some health problems. Sometimes not knowing is the worst. Mm -hmm. I mean, I still feel good, but I still get some, like, I'm cold one minute, hot the next. I don't know. It's just kind of weird. And and I think a And lot he's of a it, worrier, too, so that okay, does not so, help. So, as you see, you, anyone who watches our videos long enough knows that I do, I am twitchy, I am a very anxious person, so it doesn't take much to send me spiraling out of yes. control. Yes, yes. And I am sometimes my own worst enemy because I worry too much over things that I can't control. Yes. So, you know, I'm the type of person that thinks I'm dying. <laughs> you know, it is what it is. I mean, yeah. losing weight cures a lot, but it doesn't fix all my quirks and problems that I've had my whole life. Right. But we're hopeful that the chiropractor will help him as far as his back. And So, yeah, I went yesterday and they did very little because they said, you know, my worry was is that I'm going to get, you know, I don't want to work out or do anything too much to give me any pain that would be in my chest from muscles mm -hmm. because that will spiral me thinking there's something bad wrong and I don't want to be back in the ER. But other than that, everything... Seems to be fine. Just keep prayers, but yeah, everything seems to be fine. And very thankful for that. Yes. So anyway, our Saturday video is going to be the rest, you know, the rest of our week. Um, last night, Thursday, we did another video and we did not film what we ate because, and then what yet, did we eat Thursday? I had keto chow ice cream for dinner. So, and then yes, <laughs> yesterday, I had. Um, I eat the rest of my pizza that we had on Wednesday night. We stopped mm -hmm. at Rapid Fire and got a no-do pizza. Right. I, st I ate that, and I drank a keto chow, like, all in a half hour's time span. Right. So, so I called her. It was like, look, you're on your own. So I stopped at a local chili place. It's called Gold Star Chili, if you know, if you're familiar. But they do have a low-carb bowl that you can order there, which is just essentially three cheese conies in a bowl, no bread. So three hot dogs, chili, cheese, onions, mustard. And it was delicious and filling. So there's that. <laughs> so anyway, yeah, it's just been kind of stressful. You know, I do start a new job. Tuesday. And just stress. But other than that, yeah, I probably need some walks. So we're on. So thank you to Cool Kid keto for mentioning that's what they were going to do. Step up the move your body game. Also, so. if you don't know, if you hung around this long, we are doing, probably going to start this Friday, starting a live at 6.45 p.m. Eastern Time. Yes. So join us. We'd and love to talk to you. That backs, that That's going to end. It's only going to be a max of 45 minutes long because mm -hmm. Heath we, and Shelly and the Hungry Heath channel, they yes. do a Friday night 
live that starts at 7.30. So, so whatever you want to call it, a piggyback, a tailgate, a tailgate. or a, an appetizer. He thought the name appetizer <laughs> was quite humorous, and I do too. But yes. we don't plan on cooking, so yeah, I guess we would be the appetizer. Right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you guys, thank you for watching, and enjoy the rest of our content coming up. And enjoy your Saturday, your beautiful... Fourth of July weekend. I hope you have a wonderful and safe Fourth of July. What are we doing? All right, it's Sunday night. It is. So we did our live stream this morning, and that was a lot of fun. And late morning, yeah. So we for dinner we made lots of burgers and hot dogs. Hot dogs are underneath. And that will be for dinner tonight. It'll be for lunch tomorrow. And so, the next day. And if you're seeing this, you just seen our Saturday weigh-in. And what we're doing is on our weigh-in, we'll be go back and basically everything we ate for the week. Except unless we release another like a like a full day vlog. Right. James has been missing doing that. I really miss doing this because as good as we are of remembering to show our food, we're really bad vloggers. Like, things just happen and we just forget to record. Or we record and we just kind of... Right, we don't know where we're going with it. Yeah. So, this is going to be the format for Saturday. Saturday, that way I can just get it uploaded early. It'll just be, you know, a few minutes in the morning with our results. Right. Even yeah. if we throw in some pictures of what we're bringing for lunch, um, if it's different and for lunch yeah. today i just realized that i did not eat we yeah we've been kind of busy today we've been very busy today i got a generator things like that i got a spiralizer things like that <laughs> so i actually forgot to eat mm -hmm. i forgot <laughs> like for real me so anyway I, yeah i ate the rest of the thin sliced new york strip that we still had so there was like two or three pieces left of that. So I've been digging that with sour cream mixed with hot sauce. So mm -hmm. that is our Sunday. Yes, we always want to do a full day vlog and we just keep forgetting. We don't forget. It's okay, just... there's just things that go by and you're like, we didn't film this. Right. And the next thing you know, it's seven o'clock at night and we didn't do anything. Or we're running errands, like stopping at the jewelry store or... Yes. Something like that. So anyway, that's Sunday and we will see you. You will see us tomorrow right now. Yep. Hey guys, it is Tuesday. And so we went from Sunday in the video to Tuesday in the video. And the reason is, is because on Monday we filmed the zucchini noodle recipe. So that is why you're not seeing Monday. But... I just got in from work. It's almost, it's, it's like four o'clock and just want to show you what I'm doing real quick. So I have the sous vide out and I am sous vide sirloins at 133 degrees. And if you don't know what a sous vide is, it's basically you fill it up with water and you put the probe in, you set the probe for what you want. I want 133 degrees. That way it's almost, and it's going to sit and stay at precisely 133 degrees until I take it out, which it could be in there for a couple hours before we decide to have dinner. Um, the steak will cook to 133 and then that will give a few degrees leeway so that we can, ooh, I zoomed in on myself. That'll give a few degree leeway so that when we sear it, it'll make it, like Emily likes hers, a, a little bit of a medium, medium well. Me and Noah like it at a medium, so she'll just sear hers for a few extra seconds. But it makes the steaks perfect. You'll never ruin meat again. And we have a video on our channel about the Innova sous vide that I have. Also, the other day we had taken some meat out of the freezer that we had frozen since, I want to say March. So we took that out and it's thawed out now and I'm going to make about four pounds of hamburger just to use later in the week for like tacos. I'll probably use some Redmond organic seasoning salt 
and we'll make tacos or, or something out of that. So, or just bring brown, uh, ground beef for lunch. Happy Tuesday. All right, it's Tuesday. Hi. And so I, we all had hamburger. I actually took like a half hour nap or something like that, 45 minute nap. We all had hamburger and I'm full, but Emily's still gonna have a steak. <laughs> All right, so I sous vide these things for like three hours, and normally I would sous vide them for like an hour. You and can almost cut them with a fork. <laughs> that can't be a bad thing. Almost. Filet yeah, sir. It's not happening. Filet sirloin. <laughs> so all right, so the very 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 tender steaks, which is a good thing. But I did add a little hickory smoke to the to the bag. And then I actually cooked them in a cast iron skillet with bacon grease. So they're very bacony <laughs> because of the, I, she says it's because of the grease. I say it's because of the hickory and it's really probably just a combination of the two. And Austin thinks it's weird. <laughs> it's like, as he eats it. <laughs> I mean, I'll eat anything just about. It's like, it's so tender. It's like, I'm anything. It's like, will you eat me? <laughs> after the video. <laughs> it's like a... <laughs> Where is this going? It's so tender, it's like a Vienna sausage. <laughs> like, it just melts in your uh, mouth. You know what, if you, if you don't remember seeing Austin, here's Austin. And there's that steak he's complaining about. Exactly. What up? It's gone. <laughs> it's just, just reduced to butter. <laughs> All right. Oh boy. Happy Tuesday. <laughs> Guys, have a good night. Oh, you know what? For lunch, I oh. had I had <laughs> two third pound burgers from Costco, the seventy five twenty fives, and they are really good. Speaking of, yes, I'm not a fan of prepackaged frozen burgers, but the Costco burgers I do like. I had one third pound burger and two hard boiled eggs for lunch. I had two third pound burgers and one hard boiled egg. We're out of hard boiled eggs. We are? Yeah. What have you been doing? I'm trying to get. She's been watching TV. It's just a. <laughs> While I do everything. I'm trying to get caught up on a show so I can watch the new episodes with Austin and Noah. Stranger Things. It's yes. Stranger Things, in case you're wondering. <laughs> I'm on the last episode. See you so. Wednesday. <laughs> All okay, right. now it's Happy Wednesday. <laughs> yeah, Happy Wednesday. So, <laughs> all right, you're going to see us already talk about this, but I just got back. We, right. I had to go to the hospital because my, I've been talking about my chest cold or whatever. He's been I, having chest pains. That started when I had a cold that went from my throat into my chest. Right. So I went to the chiropractor. I know it sounds stupid. I went to the chiropractor because these pains come and go like a light switch just off. And I thought it was because I have a pinched, maybe a pinched nerve or a... Sleeping a, on his head or through something a, through like that. a disc and up, in, up in my upper back. So, so went to the chiropractor. Mm -hmm. I told the chiropractor what was wrong. And he told me I need to go immediately to the ER because I'm showing either blood clot or heart attack symptoms. Yes. So I left and I went to the hospital, which they immediately did an EKG, which came back fine. They did all blood work, which mm. everything came back fine except for one test that... Was his blood clot enzymes were uh, double what they should be. So... Anyway, then they had to put an IV in, put get, do insert uh, cat scan contrast mm -hmm. so that they could see all the veins would illuminate. Did a cat scan, and they found no clots. Right. They thought he might have a what is it called? A pulmonary embolism. Embolism, which is basically a blood, blood clot, clot in the lungs. lungs. Um, which maybe I did, but I don't now. Yes. So. Back to the chiropractor. Back to square one. But we are thankful. Still need to follow up to see why his enzymes are elevated. Uh, why he would test positive for a blood clot. 
Well, it was a blood test. So, I mean, anything could have happened. He does not like doctors, but he is going and he is getting a follow-up. I don't need to. I'm clear. I haven't been for three years and I'm good. (laughs) He will be going back. So, that's Wednesday. But, anyway, when we left, so it's 1030 now. We didn't get out of the hospital until after 9. It was about, yeah, about 9. Chad was there like five and a half, a little over five hours. He was hungry starving so we stopped at rapid fire pizza and this is what we got yeah so rapid fire they have a big sign inside their restaurant it says be you and be awesome i just think that's a really good sign but anyway they have no dough pizza there which looks like this so yeah basically they line the bottom with spinach and parmesan cheese and right. then, an aluminum pan yeah and then we get like uh garlic butter and a little bit of pesto, and then you just go through like you're at Chipotle and tell them you want this, 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 and it's very filling. So we get the meats and usually jalapenos, and I got black and green olives. So, so the good news is, is I'm alive. Yes. Because Noah was very worried when I was at the chiropractor because Noah was with me, and when he was mentioning a heart attack, Noah got really worried, and then I did too. Yes. Which means when I got to the hospital, my blood pressure was like 170 over 90. And I was like, well, what do you expect? <laughs> but Have a heart attack. Lower, back to normal. Um, I'm still worried. I'm not going to lie. I think that he needs to follow up and see why those numbers are elevated. Anyway, I just hope I can feel better because maybe knowing that my heart was good, my EKG was good, all the enzymes, everything's good. Hopefully... There's Derek. <laughs> I turned that around like that because he was dancing around on the other side. He was going. <laughs> so, just knowing that everything was okay, EKG, all that stuff came back good, no blockages like that. So, I'm happy. I'll take it. He because did, he did see in his lab work that he had le- he was low on sodium. As much salt as I dump on my food. So many people get on us like, you know, get have any food with that salt? My sodium was on the lowest, low end. The, on the very low end of normal. And yes. I was like, oh, that's permission. <laughs> <laughs> I could just use more now. Right. So that just goes to show that how much water actually gets released because I eat way more salt than I ever could have back on the regular diet because I'd have held water like crazy if I was eating carbs. So, which leads me to believe that I definitely need to up my electrolyte game because I guarantee you my electrolytes, even though they showed that everything was normal, I need them to. So back to the work grind tomorrow for both of us. I know, it's 10.30. That's what I've done all day. And Oh, in case you didn't know, I didn't go to work today because I just felt that bad. So. So we do believe in miracles, so. All right. We will see you, well, you'll see us coming up now. Coming up now? Thursday. Yeah. Hopefully we'll get to eat. Our normal cooked food. Cooked food? At home cooked. Home cooked food. All right, that's our video for today. So thank you so much for watching. Uh, Like and subscribe if you have not, and we will see you soon.